Hi guys, I'm back today. Um, I didn't, I've not filmed the last day or two that I've been in here. Um, again, you know, I'm not um, spending full days here. It's just a few hours with the kids here. So I'm going to, we just got here a little, little bit ago. We've done a couple things, but um, I'm gonna swing you around and kind of show you what I've gotten accomplished over the last couple weeks. Um, we've not been in here that much, but when we when we're here, I'm trying to get as much done as possible. I try to keep me a list going of what I need to accomplish while we're here, and then we kind of go from there. So um, here we go. All right. So here we are at the door. I've got these empty tote boxes I want to take back home, probably, and then a bag of trash. Um, I've got this little, uh, you know. I've got two of these. One, they were up on the sink back here. So one's gonna stay right here with like a notes basket to the teacher. So those will go there. Right now they just have um, my kids' snacks in there. So that's what's there. And then I did get my desk and it's kind of set up. Obviously my drink, my sunglasses, all the stuff I've dropped off. These are some cards I had from when I taught before with um, Daily Five Cafe. Um, so I've, I've had those. This uh, is from Ikea. Um, I got it several years ago. And then there's my Secret Stories book that I got. Um, the pens, markers, and what is it, pencils? Yeah, uh, come from what, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Home Goods, I think. Um, and then I've got my, my other little things. That little thing came from Amazon. I can link it, it's got a little drawer under it and just you know random teacher stuff um my lovely i need to do a video on this i know uh teachers may not really care but that's my diaper bag and i mean i can use it for a teacher bag but it is petunia pickle bottom and it is winnie the pooh and it is absolutely adorable um so anyway there's that bag <laughs> gotta share gotta share the bag love all right so in here behind my desk I've put um, like colored paper and printed, different printed paper. Up top is, like this drawer right here has a blue. Up top is like a lime green, just copy paper. Um, some various items in here. I've added um, an extra pencil sharpener and Velcro dots. I got that off of Amazon. Let me show you that. So it is Velcro brand sticky back and it is just on a big roll that has like the sticky dots. We've already used some. I'll link that to, um, I got that off of Amazon. So, and then the little Starlight drawers I've had. Um, I have a few things in here. That is sheet protectors. Um, this just kind of has random stuff in it. Not not a whole lot in there. My drawers are somewhat organized. Um, I have added quite a bit in here. I've got sticks, crayons, all my colored paper. This is all stuff I have. The school didn't supply any of that. Um, I've got bins where I have sorted out. I had like a bunch of dot markers and these are the only two that are actually still good because I went through and checked all those. Kind of random stuff. There's buttons, Google eyes, uh, stamp pads. These I had, but those scissors right there are just kid scissors. They were in the room, and this whole rack of scissors here was in the room. Um, these I got with supply money, and then those are, I keep just a little box. When we use glue sticks, um, I put used ones in here so we use them up before we open new ones. So that box will probably a bit end up going out. This is more Google eyes. I've got beads. I've got glue gun. Um, I had these from before. I bought them, I think, before like I went to fifth grade. And then in fifth grade, we didn't use them. So I've just had them. And it's got the tops to them. Um, I found that's all my paint because I didn't realize I had that much. Um, and I ordered paint. And it's not come in yet. And then I did get... Uh, paint brushes with my school money and then all that stuff is stuff I just I have for um, some bags I have over on Etsy um, but 
uh, I'm going to throw use some of those materials in um, my treasure box. Um, the big thing of glue, I already had the pipe cleaners I brought, and then these other ones, you know, were already here. And then that is a full box of crayons that the school purchased with tools for school money. So I think all of the K1 classrooms got those. All right, this is some new stuff. So this has um, the Moffat Girls writing. So I have one through seven. I've got to bring my label maker and put labels on the outsides of all those. And then those are just some extra half inch binders. These are all mine. I had all these and they are magnetic lowercase letter sets. So I have, I have four sets of those and then I have one set that's got like the, they're like foamy and I think they're all from really good stuff. And then of course we have those. Uh, down here are various things. I know that top box is like journal writing prompt uh, books by the month that I had from before. This is one I had from before is Write and Publish Activity Center. I think it's Lakeshore. I have this. Um, our library at Burnsville actually had this, but they um, got rid of them. So I grabbed this one and I think I've got the fifth grade one. Um, but they were getting rid of them so we could take them. So I have the first grade one. And then I have tons of flashcards. And then I think this is file folders that we're gonna do some uh, lap books. And then I have some floor puzzles. I have two of those 12 by 12 boxes. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. And I've got a few more at home. And then there is some games. I know there's some Bob books down there in that box and various items. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think this one's kind of, oh, more chairs. There's more chairs in here, yay. All right, so over here, um, I got these with supply money. This is the beginnings of my treasure box uh, or prize box. I did, Piper picked pink paper for this and I've still got to put it on that little piece down there. I've done nothing with these shelves. And we got three boxes of paper. I'm thinking it's for the year. It may just be, you know, through Christmas. I'm not sure. So I put two boxes down here and then I'm gonna open up that box and kind of stack them um, down here to where they're easier to get to. Um, I've, there's nothing down here. Uh, my shelf here, I've made labels to put on these. I've just not got them cut out and brought to school um, cause I'll just cut them at home. Uh, but right now, there's a fidget in there. There's dry erase markers in here. Those are my lights for my bathroom and my voice level, or yeah, voice level. The school, I think Tools for Schools brought two things of glue sticks. I had erasers, so that's gonna go in there. Here's one set of folders, pocket folders. So I'm gonna have uh, poetry, writing, and center folders across the top here. And then more supplies will go in those bottom bins. Um, this purple one is not gonna stay there. It's going to go over on the back side of that teacher desk. So it will go there. This right here is supposed to have a table and chairs, but they borrowed it for something this week and they are supposed to bring it back Monday. So that's gonna have like a table with four chairs that'll be kind of for centers. Um, my rainbow drawers over here. Um, I got these tags, I think off of Teachers Pay Teacher a long time ago, like I already had them made. Um, I just had to cut them out and put them on. So that's gonna be my word work drawers. Um, this is the tower of boxes from stuff that I've unloaded and things. Um, so I've got something else that's gonna go back here. This is going to be the small group table for my assistant, if she pulls a group, um, they'll work here. Or like if they're doing art and she's pulling them to do some craft or something, then they will work, they'll work at this table. I got all of my shelves. That's fine, just leave them in the, just lay them over to the side. Um, I got my shelves put together. These Sterlite boxes I already had, but I don't have enough for all 16. So I'm really not sure if I'm gonna buy more of those or if I'm gonna get just 16 new ones to go in there. Not sure. And my cute, super cute rug. I love the rug. Um, it, uh, I think I ordered it off of Amazon. 
But um, I do need to get a vacuum cleaner because I'm gonna have to vacuum with the kids here all the time. Um, so here, stand back. So this is our small, our group area. Uh, I put the black on the board. They can't see you yet. I'll get there. Um, so I love that. That's probably not exactly where the calendar is going to go, but I was just trying to figure out exactly how I was going to place things. I think I'm going to do birthdays across the top and have the calendar there and leave this space over here for anchor charts that I want to keep close at first. Maddie. Anyway, uh, the chair came from Home Goods. I got it for $60. Um, it was on clearance, which is awesome. Uh, the top, all the way across the top, is going to be Secret Stories. Um, I've got them laminated. I don't have them cut out yet. So, you know, we're getting there. We there. Oh, well, that's good. Um, anyway, there is my, uh, that thing. And I think it is in my part two video, I think. It's been a while since I filmed that one. Um, I got, finally got the border up on this one. This board, I know is half of it is going to have like the behavior chart and maybe the schedule. I'm not sure. Anyway, and then the other half is going to have uh, writing like posters, anchor charts, poster, posters, I think. Anyway, so still haven't fixed that part yet. All that's there. Um, these are the books that were in the room already. These are my tower of books who my sweet daughter Peyton is stamping. So that way, you know, if something happens and we leave, uh, I know which ones are mine and which ones aren't. This is my stack of laminating that I need to cut out. And then this is just stuff that I'm not going to be using that I need to get put in the closet. Um, I did get chair pockets with school money. So those are there. There's our tables. Mommy. What, honey? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're back. All right, so here um, I did find I had the magnetic border and I put it up there on my whiteboard and I got the black put on this with the 12, these are 12 by 12 squares. Um, I did, they are Astro Brights, I believe, and I did get them off of Amazon, so I will try to remember to lick those. All the border came from Amazon, I believe. Yes, it did. Um, I think, or did I order from, I'll look and see. I'll tell you in the description where the borders came from. Um, I know they were all part of the same collection, but I don't know if I did Amazon or if I ordered them off of like another site. Um, anyway, so I love the way that looks. I should have put the um, title bef and, and scooted all of them down, but I'm not doing it now because I like, I think they work out very well. And then the bottom, I'm really not sure what's going to go down there or what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm not there yet. But anyway, um, I am cutting out with my Cricut kind of a thing, and I'll just hot glue them across the um, top up there. I think that will work. Um, anyway, and then the top, of course, will have secret stories. Here's still mess, mess. That is tennis balls to go on the bottoms of the chairs. Um, we have a few more math things in here. Just a few that things that I found in my things. Um, my table, of course, is a wreck. I did uh, get a chair. I got that off of Amazon. I will link it. It is comfy and it is the perfect height because, you know, with these kidney tables and little ones, you have to keep it quite low. So I can fit under there just fine. Um, and then we are back to like there's my desk there's my reading table so here's the back I love this Piper picked the green as the background and I like it very much especially with the 
dot border. I think it looks really good. And then uh, a student got me that Inspire and I set it up there um, several years ago when I was in fifth grade. So I got these off of Teachers Pay Teachers. I will link them. Um, I think Papa really liked them with the green. So um, we put those on that side and then I put my cafe on this side because I really wasn't sure what to put on this side and I didn't want those to take up the whole space. So that way I can still do that. And then um, I got this acrylic, I don't know if you've seen this, um, file crate and the file folders. I got those off of Amazon and then I had those. And then of course, I think I showed you already that those came from Walmart. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We are going to work on, sorry Peyton. Um, we're gonna work on getting the rest of the border on this board and I have shapes to put on it. So that's gonna go there. And then Peyton is over there working on stamping books and then we're gonna work on getting those sorted. And then I need to cut out laminating really bad because one day soon I'm gonna to have to get the hot glue gun out and start gluing all the stuff up that I need to glue and make, you know, kind of get this finished. We have, let's see, five, six, seven. We have seven work days before school starts. And I don't know what of those are like professional development and what of those are meetings and what of those are like free. I know four of them are, four, three, four. I think four are mandatory and three are optional. So I'm sure the three optional, there's nothing planned, but the four mandatory, there might be. You just never know. Oh, I also had this border already off too. And so I put it there. And then I think there's some over there behind that. Uh, just wherever we could find to put it. So, so far it's looking good. I'm feeling pretty good about it. It's going to, it's going to be a great year. I'm excited. So, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what, if you are a teacher, tell me what grade that you're teaching and how, what you're doing this summer. If you're prepping or if you're just completely taking the summer off to not do anything. Um, and then tell me also, I, I have these bins right here. See all those bins? There is a ton of those bins and I don't need them all. Um, however, I also have a set that are pink and teal. Like I have 12 teal and 12, no, not pink, purple, purple and teal, because those were my old school colors. Um, but they're still at home because I have all of those. So if I use them for book bins, what else could I use them for? Because there's enough for each kid to have like two or three. Um, not that I'm planning to do that, but if you have any ideas on other ways to use those bins, I hate for them to just sit and not be used because as you can see, I'm a bin person. Um, I also thought about maybe when I'm sorting books, using them to sort some of them, but we'll see. We'll see. Give me ideas.
All right, so this is basically all we got done. I got that moved back over here, so that's all good. I kind of got the counter cleaned off. I got the paper put away down there. I got this board done. I got a little <laughs> wider spaced here and they're a little tighter on this end, but um, in the grand scheme, I'm not overly concerned about it. I still got all the shapes on there, so we're all good. Um, of course, this table was cleaned off. I did break down a couple boxes. I'm gonna take those out. And then I started um, cutting out laminating. So I'm working on that. And then Peyton's still working on stamping books. We got those stamped. Oh, okay. And then I didn't do anything over here. This table is cleaned off now. Um, and then you know, this is still a mess. So, we've been here, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours maybe. Um, I mean, it's just, it's a process. Especially when there's, you know, so much to do. It's trying to figure out what to do next. So, thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!